Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we are mainly going to talk about chronic simple type of rhinitis. But before that, you must need to know that a condition is called acute when it is of up to 3 weeks in duration. It will be called as subacute when it is of 3 to 12 weeks in duration and it will become chronic if it lasts for more than 12 weeks or 3 months. Rhine means nose and itis is for inflammation. So chronic rhinitis is basically non-specific inflammation of the nasal mucosa for more than 12 weeks or 3 months. There are five types of chronic rhinitis, chronic simple rhinitis which will be discussed in this video, hypertrophic rhinitis, atrophic rhinitis, rhinitis cica and rhinitis caseosa. All these types will be discussed in upcoming videos inshallah. Chronic simple rhinitis is a non-specific inflammation of the nasal mucosa for more than 12 weeks or 3 months but without any structural abnormality which differentiate it from other types of chronic rhinitis. Etiology is mainly recurrent attacks of acute rhinitis in the presence of predisposing factors which are persistent nasal infections due to sinusitis, tonsillitis and adenoids chronic irritation of the nasal mucosa due to smoke or dust, nasal obstruction due to the deviated nasal septum or cyanechia, vasomotor rhinitis, endocrinal or metabolic disturbances like hypothyroidism, excessive intake of carbohydrates and lack of exercise which predispose a person to get the condition. Main pathology behind the chronic simple rhinitis is hyperemia and edema of mucous membranes. Hypertrophy of seromucinous glands increase in the number of goblet cells and distended blood sinusoids. All these conditions would lead to increased production of nasal secretions. So the clinical features are a nasal obstruction which usually worse on lying and it affects the dependent side of the nose. Nasal discharge which may be mucoid or mucopurulent, thick and viscid and often trickles into the throat as post nasal drip. Patient has a constant desire to blow the nose or clear the throat. Then headache due to the swollen turbinates impinging on the nasal septum. The turbinates are swollen, nasal mucosa is dull red in color and these swollen turbinates pit on pressure and they shrink with the application of vasoconstrictor drugs and this differentiates the chronic simple rhinitis from chronic hypertrophic rhinitis in which case the swollen turbinates does not pit on pressure due to the underlying fibrosis and they do not shrink on the application of vasoconstrictor drugs. Middle turbinate may also be swollen and impinge on the septum. Let's talk about the treatment for chronic simple rhinitis. Basically, we have to treat the underlying cause with particular attention to sinuses, tonsils, adenoids, allergy, personal habits like smoking or alcohol intake, environment or work situation, dusty or smoky surroundings should be avoided as they predispose a person to get the rhinitis. Nasal irrigation with alkaline solution help to keep the nose free from viscid secretions and also remove the superficial infections. Nasal decongestants like xylometazoline help to relieve the nasal obstruction and improve sinus ventilation but excessive use of nasal drops and sprays should be avoided because it may lead to the rhinitis medicamentosa. A short course of systemic steroids help to wean the patient already addicted to excessive use of decongestant nasal drops or sprays. Antibiotics like second and third generation cephalosporins, macrolides and co-amoxicillin can be given to prevent the secondary bacterial infections and to treat the secondary bacterial infections and concomitant sinusitis. That's all about chronic simple rhinitis. Other types will also be uploaded soon. Stay tuned to the channel by hitting the subscribe 
button and pressing the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever I will upload the next videos.